Hey guys, finally we have the details for the LR Cell and the LR Gohan, which we knew were coming thanks to the official live stream we had about a week ago now. Um, and then we have the details thanks to Team Doconner over on Twitter, along with the other French data miners who uh, provide us with leaks and information ahead of schedule. Uh, if you guys are not aware, I'll leave uh, Team Doconner's uh, Twitter down below where you can go see this information for yourself. Um, and uh, historically, he's been pretty much 100% accurate for everything he's leaked in the past. This has been going back for over a year at this point. So I think this is pretty um, reliable, so that's why I'm making a video on it. And I'm sure a lot of you have already seen videos on these units before, but I think I can provide a little bit of a different perspective on things. So hope you guys do enjoy this one, and let's get into it. The first thing we have is Perfect Form Cell. Cell, parentheses, Perfect Form. And he's a little bit different, actually, because he actually has a four-key leader skill, and I do think that is the first time that we're getting that as a Dokkan Fest exclusive unit. Because remember, these cards are Dokkan Fest exclusive LRs, like um, like the LR Gogeta and Vegito, and the uh, LR Goku, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, and then the Gobros, the uh, LR Go Gohan and Goten card. So he's actually the Androids slash Cell Saga category, key plus four. HP attack 150% and defense plus 170%. That's interesting. So this category was actually revealed to us yesterday in the data download. Uh, we I have a, I have it pulled up here. We'll take a look at that in, in a little bit. But um, he's also extreme int type key plus three and HP attack and defense plus 120. So you know if you don't have uh, all the all the units that you would want to for this category, you can also include some extreme int type units. So you got Angel Golden Freezer, you got LR Bojack, you got a, a bunch of good ones. But let's just quickly take a look at the category. I mean, it's not the best, but again, that's probably one of the reasons behind it being 4-key instead of the normal 3-key, to sort of compensate for the fact that you have a little bit less options than you normally would have. I mean, you have a lot of trunks, you have this strength easy cell, the uh, the tech easy cell, you have the LR, old LR Gohan. This guy is getting an easy A, you have the old LR cell. What else you got? You got uh, the future Gohan here is pretty good. You got this Vegeta, you got this Trunks, you got uh, the Piccolo, who's not on Global yet, but he will be soon, I imagine. And then you got these two new units, which are going to be very good once they get their easy A's. So, that's a pretty decent roster. You also have this uh, cell here. Uh, it's a pretty decent roster, um, but again, like I said, you can always replace stuff with uh, extreme, te extreme Int if you need to. Uh, and that also means that this cell is Int, by the way, in case you, couldn't, uh, in case you didn't uh, figure that out. So his passive skill, right? His passive skill is at attack and defense plus 80% just at the start of the turn. Then he raises defense by up to 80%. The more HP remaining, the greater the defense boost. So this is kind of like Bojack, where... Except it's opposite, because Bojack raises defense the less health he has. But So he can raise his defense up to 160% if he has full HP, basically. Which is, wouldn't you know it, you start, the, you start off the fight with a full HP. So pretty much at the start of the battle, he's going to have 160% defense as an LR, which uh, is pretty insane. Uh, and I'm assuming, we don't have the stats for these guys yet, but I'm assuming that uh, they have prime stats, obviously being Dokkan Fest LRs. Uh, and then uh, he gets plus an additional key plus one, and attack plus 20% per existing enemy. And this is reminiscent, let me just pull him up, this is reminiscent of the uh, the old physical cell LR, uh, who also has that in his passive. It's, uh, yeah, key plus one attack plus 10% per existing enemy. So this guy actually gets a better version of that. He gets an extra he gets an extra 10% added onto that. So, uh, and then he gets this evolve when conditions are met, which is his transformation. We saw on the live stream that he actually has a... Uh, ultimate attack as his active skill so you know he, he's gonna have a normal transforming mechanic um, to go from cell perfect form to perfect cell and if you take a look at his super attacks they are 12 key is causes colossal damage to the enemy and massively lowers defense 18 key is greatly raises attack for one turn and causes mega colossal damage to enemy so you know massively lowering defense is pretty good in the legendary goku event but other than that it's kind of you know it's not really it's not really too impactful and then 18 key, um, greatly raising attack for one turn is pretty good. Uh, it's, I mean, it's better than than nothing. It's better than greatly. It's better than raising attack. It greatly raises, I think, what is it like a 50% increase? So that's pretty good. It's pretty noticeable. Um, and then I, th so the only sort of blip that I had in this entire post was like this was kind of um, difficult for me to understand because he says it can be activated when facing only one enemy starting from the third turn after evolution, and I assumed that this was sort of like a typo. Um, I just assume this to mean that his his transformation can activate um, 
starting from the third turn, and then there's only one enemy, which is not bad. The only the only uh, trifle that I have with this is that it's going to be really difficult to activate on Super Battle Road because obviously you're always you're pretty much always fighting against multiple enemies. Uh, but this could also mean his active skill um, conditions in this transform state. But I'm not 100 percent sure on that, so just take that with a grain of salt. And take basically take everything what I'm saying here as a grain of salt because I'll, everything is subject to change before it releases officially. So I mean it's never it's not it hasn't really happened before, but just keep that in mind. So this is a transformed state, his perfect cell. Leader skill is the same. Passive skill is fully recovers HP once only, which is identical to the LR Gogeta and Vegeta we got in the third year anniversary. That's cool. I don't think we've seen that since then, which is really good. Uh, and then he gets key plus four and attack and defense plus 120% just at the start of turn, which is <laughs> four keys off the bat is really, really nice. And then attack and defense plus 120% is also really good just for an LR especially. Um, and then he gets plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% with four or more key spheres obtained. And then he gets the same thing with six or more. And then he gets attack plus 20% with eight or more. So essentially what this guy is trying to do is he's trying to just collect all the key spheres that he, that he can. So you're going to want to run uh, key sphere support units on your team along with this guy. And um, I haven't really looked, but I assume there to be some decent ones. I know the future androids can do that. I'm actually surprised these future androids are in the category, but whatever. Um, yeah, like I know, let's pull her up. And then, yeah, future android 17 can also do that as well. Let me just see. Because she does... Yeah, she changes... Uh, physical to AGL and then what does 17 do oh wait there's a second part to their passive as well yeah so she actually changed yeah so Android 18 might actually be a really good um, addition to this team because if your HP is less than 70% she's going to also change oh never mind she changes into physical as well so you don't want that I guess yeah I don't know if you want to run these guys I mean they do change orbs so they do change two types of orbs if your HP is below 70% HP. Uh, you know, if as long as you, you know, change enough orbs, then this guy's going to get his passive, you know, because you only need eight. Um, so I guess you could run one of these guys as an option. Um, but other than that, I, don't, I haven't really looked, but I've seen there's at least one other orb changer here. Just looking quickly, I don't see anyone, but yeah, the future androids could actually be a decent option. I'm sure there's at least one in uh, Extreme Tech that would, I mean, Extreme Int that would do that as well. And then we have his super attacks are 12 key causes colossal damage to the enemy and massively lowers defense. 18 key causes mega colossal damage to enemy and lowers attack and defense, which is really useful. And then his ultimate is the solar Kamehameha. Uh, works, I assume, just the same as the LR Super Saiyan 4 attacks. So greatly raises attack temporarily, causes ultimate damage to the enemy, and massively lowers defense. So the only difference I see here is that this is greatly raises attack temporarily, while the Super Saiyan Force was massively. Um, so this might do a little less damage than those active skills do, but it's not a huge deal, just considering how insane like his passive is. Now the only thing with Cell is that you're going to want to run him pretty much with this Cell, right? You could also run him with the LR Cell, this guy. Which I already have pulled up, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so these are the two guys you'd want to run him with on rotation. So you'd have one rotation of this guy and this guy, and you'd have one rotation of this guy and this guy. So basically a full cell rotation I think is probably the best setup with like a few support units floating around for key. But the thing with this guy is, this guy also has a similar passive. He gets plus an additional attack and defense plus 30% when obtaining six or more key spheres, right? So uh, if you have two units like this on the same rotation, they're both kind of fighting for key at the same time and it might make it a bit difficult for this guy to activate his full passive. I mean obviously you do prioritize this guy getting his full passive over this guy, but something to be cautious about. and that's. Something that I think makes uh, support units even more desirable on a team like this. But overall, this guy looks really, really insane. I mean, if you compare this guy to the LR Super Saiyan 4 units, uh, the, the LR Super Saiyan 4s don't even have a passive that comes close to this. I mean, he gets key straight up, uh, and then his attack and defense buffs are just way higher than them, given they do massively raise their attack and defense on their specials, their super attacks. But I don't think they're going to hold a candle to the cell. Honestly, because this cell's going to have big bad bosses too, probably. I mean, it only makes sense. I assume he's going to have the same exact link set as this guy, and this guy has big bad bosses here. He has Nightmare, he has Fierce Battle, he has all these links that are really good villain links. So, 
this guy's going to be absurd. I feel like this guy definitely could be better than uh, LR Gohan and Goten. I think it's honestly pretty given that he is. I would be surprised if he was not better than them, to, to, say, to say the least, honestly. So that's Cell. I'm really impressed by Cell. I mean... <laughs> Now uh, we're getting to the sort of um, controversial part of the video. Oh, actually, I forgot to mention that there is a new uh, TR Cell Jr. coming on the same banner as Cell. So, could be interesting to look out for. He might actually be a better linking partner and buddy than this Cell. We have to see how he turns out, but you don't have any info on him right now. So now we, can, now we get to Gohan. And if you guys have seen Gohan's details already, then you guys might, might be thinking, you know, oh, I was so upset about Gohan's uh, active skill conditions and stuff. I'm here to I'm here to tell you guys that there's nothing to worry about. But I do sympathize with people who were looking forward to you know having an easy time transforming into Super Saiyan 2 because it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. So let's just go ahead and take a look at what he does. His leader skill is Kamehameha category, key plus 3, HP plus 130, attack and defense plus 170, or super AGL type key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120, so he's an AGL. AGL's been uh, kind of monopolizing the game <laughs> for a, a, a little bit now. There was, a, there was a point where AGL was like kind of you know lacking, but since then they've picked up speed a lot. But that's fine. Uh, just this category. We'll talk about this category now, I guess. Um, it, we'll just take a look at the, the Kamehameha link. Like, uh, it's it's not really clear how this uh, leader, uh, this um, category will work yet because it could either be a units that like physically do the Kamehameha like in their like attack in the game, or like their character is able to do the Kamehameha because if that's the case. Then you know we're talking about characters like Goku. Just off the top of my head, like Goku, Gohan, uh, Goten. We have the LR Go Bros. We have Goku Black. We have Cell. We have Boo. We have Vegito, Gogeta. Like all these guys are on the same team. It's gonna be pretty insane. I mean, just take a look. Like you have like this whole like first four rows on the same team. Like that's actually stupid. Like look at all these units. Like they're just all insane. Like even if even just like scrolling down to some of these SSR units, like supports you have that are pretty good. Um, you have like the the EZA Goten if you need support, which you do because we'll get into that in a second. Um, so let's just go into passive. But attack and defense was 100%. Key plus one plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% at the start of each turn. So he gets so he starts off with his 100% attack and defense, and then every turn that passes, he gets one key. And then an additional 10% attack and defense, and then that stacks for basically seven turns. So then he gets a 170% um, uh, total because this is calculated at the start of turn, so it's additive. So he'll max out at 170. And what this reminds me of is actually this guy. But the thing with this guy is that he has to transform first. So he takes three turns to actually get to the point where he can start stacking everything. So he gets here, turn three, right? And then he, you know, infinitely stacks attack and defense. And then he also does the thing where, uh, you know, it takes eight turns for him to get an extra 80% attack and defense. So very similar to what this guy is doing, except there's one difference. This guy is getting key and he's an LR. <laughs> so I think this guy is going to be the new best unit in the game for the um, Legendary Goku event. I think previously it was pretty easy to say that this guy was probably the best. Him or LR Kel and Khalifa or, you know, it. I, I'm pretty sure it's, it was between them two, but uh, this guy just untransformed is going to have massive amounts of defense, and that I mean he's an LR, so every time he so every time this Gohan uses an uses a super attack, he's getting more defense than if this guy was going to be just because of the fact that he, he's stacking higher like a, the same percentage, so on, on a super attack is thirty percent, I think for uh, just a regular raise of defense. So he's raising his higher base value of defense by 30% than this guy's lower base value of defense by 30% every super attack. So it's going to add up to being a lot higher than that Trunks is. So yeah, this guy's going to be insane in that event. Uh, and then uh, we take a look at his active skill. <laughs> um, can be activated when HP is 58% or less with Android 16 on the team. So, uh, Android 16 is not going to be in the Kamehameha, Kamehameha category. 
Um, and if we take a look, let me just let me see if I can pull this. How do I even search on here? Android 16. Oops, that's not it. Android 16. That doesn't work. Okay, just forget it. But we currently don't have any Android 16 units um, in the game that are AGL. But if you notice, we are getting a new Android 16 on the same banner as Gohan. Um, so I've heard some whisperings that it's possible that the Android 16 could actually end up being int, but I don't think that's really logical for them to release an int version because he would, he would find no place being on this team uh, when he specifically requires that an Android 16 be on here to transform. So I'm just going to go ahead and assume he's going to be AGL. Um, I mean, again, we'll see when he releases, but um, with a new Android 16 coming out and him specifically needing him to transform from his first part of his active skill requirement, um, uh, that tells me that the Android 16 that's going to release is going to like pretty much be his best partner somehow. Maybe change key spheres or like buff Gohan some way, attack and defense. I, I'm not. I'm not really sure. And then he also has a secondary condition where it says "or," so it's this first sentence "or" when HP is 50% or less with an existing Androids category ally or enemy starting from the from the fifth turn from the start of battle once only. So both require you to be under 58% health which is you know not the best but it's it's it's, it's easily obtainable if you if you want to do it um, and then you also need an androids category ally or enemy starting from the fifth turn from the start of battle so you know androids is not just just to be clear androids is not androids cell saga it's an androids category ally so it's not you know it's not going to be I don't know, android 17 I mean, it's, it will. It will be. It's, it won't be like the new Piccolo. Like it won't be. It, this guy won't won't count because even though he's in the Android cell slash Cell Saga category, he's not an Android, and that's the category they're talking about here. So yeah, you need one of those. Um, so basically, what this is saying is, you run, you, they want you to run Cell on this team because Cell actually does fit into the Kamehameha category, right? Um, so I mean, you could even run someone like this Cell, the older Cell, because that would trigger it as well. Um, but uh, five turns is quite a while, plus you need an androids category, plus you need to be under 50% health. It's a little bit much, I think, but the reason why it is that um, stringent is because if we take a look at what he actually looks like transformed, he gets attack plus 20% and defense plus 7% per key sphere obtained, plus an additional key plus one per key sphere obtained. So, if we just take this first sentence, this first sentence is already like significantly better than the existing LR Gohan, the Intel LR Gohan that we have, because he basically he has this same the same line additional key plus one per key sphere obtained, but this guy gets two percent more attack, and then he also gets seven percent defense, which the other one does not get any defense per key sphere. So that's already like head and shoulders better than the other one, and the other one still hits for like four million. On his like you know teams that are decent, which is pretty good. You know, four million something to laugh at. Um, and then you see he has <laughs> this is this is insane. I can't believe they actually did this. Randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres when facing only one enemy, which is most of the time. So you're going to be changing key spheres to rainbow <laughs> when facing one enemy, which helps a lot, especially when you have a nuking passive that requires you to obtain key spheres to do damage and tank. Uh, plus he's getting one extra key per sphere obtained. So that's a little bit insane. And then also we see if he's fighting um, uh, multiple enemies, he actually launches an additional super attack guaranteed. That's kind of cool because it kind of reminds me of like, um, you know, when Gohan first transformed, he's fighting all those cell juniors. Like he would attack, he just murdered all of them. I think that's kind of what that's trying to emulate. So maybe we'll see his 12 key be like one of those like uppercut attacks he did to them. That would be pretty cool. But that's really cool. And then he also um, this is this is an interesting part of his passive too. He gets an additional attack plus 59% when performing an ultra super attack, and your team has Super Saiyan Goku attacking in the same turn. Now the way this is worded is implying to me that um, this is actually requiring you to have specifically a Super Saiyan Goku unit on the rotation with this Gohan and not one that includes that phrase in their name. So it's not going to be like Chi Chi where it's like 
a unit whose name contains Goku Youth. This is not a unit whose name contains Super Saiyan Goku. I think this is Nails Passive, where it's if there is a Piccolo on your team, this is if there is a Super Saiyan Goku on your rotation, then you do this. So I do think this is saying specifically a Super Saiyan Goku. So plus an additional attack plus 59% when there is a Super Saiyan Goku on your rotation when you launch your Ultra Super Attack. So this is actually multiplicative because it's 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 calculated on Super Attack, so it's not start of turn. So let's say you get, I don't know, because he, he changes key spheres too, so let's keep that in mind. That, 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 that's a huge deal. So let's say, I don't know, you get eight key spheres. That's 160% attack at the start of the turn. And then you're also multiplying into that 59% attack on top of the 160. <laughs> like that, that is going to net you so much damage. Like I could see this guy easily reaching like eight, nine, 10 million attack stats. Just, you know, if he has the proper setup, right? Um, and then his, his super attacks are greatly erases defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage to enemy. So greatly raising defense is great. Uh, greatly raises de attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage to enemy. So greatly raising attack and defense, obviously you're going to notice the defense and also the attack as well. So overall, I think people have been like negatively talking about this guy. They've been downplaying this guy, and I think there's a lot of merit in that, just based off of the active skill conditions, which you know are very stringent. But I think uh, he's kind of like a high risk, high reward type of unit. Now we'll see what happens with the Android 16 because I do think that uh, that plays a big part in whether or not he ends up being as good as I hope he is. Um, but I think literally just the base, like the Super Saiyan, the pre-transformation version of him is really really good because if you look at like like the trunks that I had that I had up earlier it, 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 like in the legendary Goku event you just wouldn't ever transform with him even though you would be able to like is this guy's in a similar situation like there might be times where you just don't want to transform with this guy because he's already like had 170% attack and defense and an extra 5 key as an LR and he's constantly stacking his defense like do you really want to transform I mean you could but <sighs> there really isn't a reason to which People, that in itself is a little bit discouraging because people do want to play with the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan because that's the iconic version of Gohan over Super Saiyan 1. Um, so I do understand why people are a little bit upset about that, but um, yeah, they're both like these. Both of these versions of Gohan are just absolutely nuts. So you know, I'm I'm even tempted to say this Gohan could potentially be better than Cell. We'll have to see. Um, I mean, definitely the transformed version is better. Like this version of Gohan, like transformed, is it's off the charts. It's it's like out. It's like into outer space levels of OP. <laughs> this is insane. It's whole passive. Um, but again, you know, you have this wall sort of like blocking you off um, uh, because basically to to um, realize this guy's full potential, you need an Android 16 unit and a Super Saiyan Goku unit on your team to start out the, the match with, which is a little bit um, specific. I feel like at this point of the game. But um, yeah, don't sleep on this Gohan. A lot of people are sleeping on him and saying that he's trash and Cell is better by a long shot. Uh, Cell might be better, just overall, but I... Please, please, please don't sleep on this Gohan. Like, when the data download happens and he's doing 10 million attack stats, don't be like, oh, I overlooked him. Like, just, just temper your... Your down, your down, your down playment, I guess, of this go on. Like he's, please, just, just trust me. He's gonna be insane. <laughs> Barring this, we have to see how the Android 16 turns out. Um, but that's gonna be it for this one. Um, let me know. Let me know if you guys are excited and which banner you're going to pull on. I have to see the banners first to make a decision. But I was going to originally pull on Cell's banner first, but this go on is piquing my interest a little bit more than I thought he would. So I might go ahead and actually pull on Gohan's banner first. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know it was a little bit of a longer one again, but you know, like talking about uh, the stuff and uh, providing a little bit of a different uh, perspective on some of these issues and topics that people have been discussing, you know, throughout the, throughout the day. So yeah, uh, see you guys in the next one.